Hello everyone and welcome to CWL Builds. I'm Caleb and today we have a very special video for two reasons. One, I'll be making this custom PVC lightsaber out of just PVC parts, some paint, and even a switch. Second part of why this video is so cool is that it's a collaboration video. Kit over at Skilltree reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a collaboration with him and I watched some of his videos and I was blown away by the quality and the craftsmanship that he puts into his videos. Now he's another small channel like me, under 2,000 subscribers, but he deserves so many more subscribers. The quality of his videos are amazing, the skill that he shows in his videos are amazing, and just the products that he makes, he makes leather armor and woodworking and he made a wooden pipe and a wizard's hat just like I did, but he made his out of solid leather. It's amazing. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put his part of this video in the link in the description below, as well as a link to his channel. So definitely go check out that part of the video. Now in that part of the video, he'll be making a strap or a side holster for this lightsaber that I'm going to send him. Now another cool thing about this lightsaber is that the inside diameter of the smaller PVC fits this one inch outside diameter polycarbonate tubing perfectly. So you can make your own blade as well. The other cool thing is you can also buy a pre-made blade from companies like Saber Forge or Ultra Sabers, such as this one right here. And these blades will also fit perfectly in here. Now of course you need your electronics added, but you have a blade pre-made right here, or you can buy this raw tubing, which I'll put a link to in the description, and you can make one yourself. So, now that that's all figured out, enjoy the video. I'll see you at the end. So the first step in all projects I do is to do a rough sketch or design of what I want. So I'll be starting with two two-foot lengths of PVC, one is a one inch inside diameter and one is a one and a quarter inch inside diameter and as you can see they fit together really nicely not super snug there is some room but we'll fix that later i'm also using this one inch by three quarters inch reducing female adapter this three quarter inch by one inch reducing male adapter and this one inch by half inch reducer bushing, which will become the end cap. Number 18 O-rings and plumber's epoxy. I'm using this piece of graph paper to transfer the outside diameter of the larger pipe onto a flat surface so it's easier for me to make the pattern later. Now using that measurement, I can start to draw my pattern. So I ended up drawing mine out on the computer and I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find this if you want to build one yourself. I'll be covering mine in this clear packing tape just to hold the pattern down as much as possible when I'm cutting it out with my Dremel tool. 
Now this process produces a lot of plastic dust, so make sure you wear the proper protection and that you're doing this in a safe environment. Now cleanup on this did take a while and was a little tedious, but in the end it was totally worth it. Now that the hardest part is behind us, we can move on to the core of the lightsaber which is made out of that 1 inch PVC. And I cut it here at 9 inches. And if you're going to be using one of those PVC cutters, just be aware that it will leave a slight angle in your cut, uh, which can easily be taken care of with a bit of sanding. I bevel the end of that 1 inch PVC just to make it look a little nicer. I'm going to be covering this bushing in plumber's epoxy to give it a solid shape, but I want to fill that negative space with something a little cheaper so they don't have to waste all my plumber's epoxy. So for that I'll be using this all-purpose putty from Bondo, and I'm using this just because it was free to me and it fills spaces pretty well. But you could use anything else if you wanted to, uh, be creative. For those who don't know, plumber's epoxy is a two-part epoxy clay that comes in a tube and you cut off a section, mix it up in your hands so that it turns an even color, and then in about 20 minutes, it's rock hard. And before it's had time to completely harden, you can use rubbing alcohol or water to smooth out the surface. So I'll be using this weird technique where I put rubbing alcohol on the clay as well as my hand and then sort of mold it into a really nice dome shape. So as you can see, when I screw the two adapters together, uh, there's this gap in between and it is exactly three centimeters wide. So I'll take that one and a quarter inch PVC that we used before, cut a three centimeter chunk out of it, and then I can use it to fill that gap. At this point, I take off the stickers and sand down the molding marks. Now the end cap I made doesn't fit all the way into this adapter, so I'm going to need to cut off about 2 centimeters off the bottom so that it fits all the way in. After adding some o-rings to various parts of the lightsaber, I can glue up everything I want, but I'm going to be keeping the two halves separate for painting. So this is what it looks like together, and now we can sand everything down and get it ready for paint and primer.
And I didn't show it on camera, but I did drill two holes in the lightsaber, and that is so that I can put a switch in. And the outside one is larger so that the switch is inset. And now we move on to my favorite part, which is weathering. And I'll be using black wash for this, which is a mix of black acrylic paint and either isopropyl alcohol or water. And I put a layer on top, wait a few seconds, and then dab it away with a paper towel. Now, I've never had this happen to me before, but the black wash left this sort of powdery white coat over everything. And it ended up getting fixed with a clear coat, so it didn't really matter to me, but I'm not really sure why this happened. Now as you can see here, the outside PVC is still a little loose, so what I'll be doing is putting just a few layers of electrical tape on the base where you won't be able to see it, and that should make a snug fit for the outside pipe. And I will be using super glue to hold the two pieces together. And the final step for me is to add a bit of silver weathering, and this is just to make it look like the paint has chipped away and the raw metal is exposed underneath. Thanks for sticking around at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, as usual, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, put them down in the comments section. I'll try to get back to you guys. If you enjoyed this video, consider dropping a like, consider subscribing. Definitely go check out Skilltree. His channel's amazing, like I've said before. And check out his part of this video where he makes that holster strap for this. Oh, and one more thing. I guess speaking of Skilltree, I have to send this to him, so I guess I'll just kind of Give him a little toss and... You ready? Wait, do you guys hear that? What? What is that? Oh, what is that? Stop, 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 stop! Here you go. What the f***?